Kansas in their road blue. McCormick to take the opening tap for KU against Matthew Alexander Moncrief. And it's Kansas that has the first possession of the night. A little bit of contrast in styles, too. Look for Kansas to try to get the big fella McCormick involved here early. And a drive by Marcus Garrett down the right baseline to lay it up and in. See the lineup for the Cowboys, including Moncrief, who came back and started against K-State after missing the West Virginia game with a bruised sternum. Six to shoot, Cunningham. Skip pass, likely from the corner. Gonna have to put it up. Did he get it off in time? Missed nonetheless. Not where they'd like the possession to end, with likely in the corner. Doesn't shoot a lot of threes. Only about 11 on the season. Cunningham needs to finish that play as the point guard. And the foul on Moncrief. Well, for Bill Self, the Jayhawks head coach is in his 18th season, you see, and there aren't many places that he has struggled to win. You look at that record, he's 400 games above 500. He can lose 399 in a row and still have a winning record at Kansas. And, of course, Bill Self played right here in Stillwater for Oklahoma State. Well, no surprise here early with Kansas going to the big fella, McCormick. That young man can shoot free throws. It's a huge bonus for Kansas. Look for them to run a lot of offense through McCormick. Likely feeding Bryce Williams. And Williams knocks down a three from the right side. The others, a lot of things will go through Cade as well as likely the others have to step up. Look like we're seeing that early from Oklahoma State. It's Apache, who arguably has been not only the best three-point shooter for Kansas, but in the conference, and he sinks his first shot. This is a money game tonight, Mark. All the scouts, I guarantee you're at home watching, and perhaps in this arena, a lot of potential NBA guys on the floor. Terrific pass. Moncrief on the receiving end from Cunningham. He can't roll him up. He can't roll him up. He can't roll him up. The lob for McCormick comes down a second opportunity, loses it, and out comes Cunningham. McCormick helps out Abaji on Cunningham. One dribble, Moncrief back out, and here's a Bryce Williams long three off the back rim. Long rebound, Moncrief going up. That's blocked by Abaji. Abaji, another three. That one's too strong. Tipped around and grabbed by Oklahoma State. Here comes Bryce Williams trying to get to the rim, and he is fouled by Kansas. Jalen Wilson. Well, this game has gotten a little faster, I think, than Kansas wants to play. Hey, Mike. And then the nice pass there to Moncrief on the dive. Most plays for Oklahoma State, Mark, they'll go through Cade, obviously, as well as likely. Both of those guys are huge faci facilitators, these Oklahoma State Cowboys. Yeah, we look at Cunningham's numbers as he was one for three from the field against K-State on Saturday. So only three shot attempts. He did have five assists and six rebounds in 30 minutes. So the four game was there. He knew what he was doing on Saturday by giving his other teammates opportunities. Yeah, and I saw that game. I mean, that was a very winnable game, and he liked keeping others involved early. It'd be a different story tonight. Already a second three made by Abaji. He has shot three, has made two, and gives Kansas back the lead. Yeah, that shot last year would have came closer to the corner because Dotson was up there. Abaji is taking on a bigger role, getting up more shots, and scoring more buckets for the Kansas Jayhawks. Likely swings it to the corner. Anderson on the drive. Nicely gets to the rim and lays it in. 
And Kansas has been a lot more stingy defensively. Anderson doing a good job of attacking that with zero rim protection or anyone stepping up for the charge. Abaji feeding McCormick, who's pushed out by Moncrief. Catch and shoot, but he was on the sideline. Abaji attempted another three, at least wanted to attempt another three. Season four from Mike Boynton, the great recruiting class, but he's really been piecing this together for a few years. This is a really outstanding young coach, Lance. Oh, it's, he's great. I love talking to him as well. He understands the moment and winning games. And he's as into the people and their development, especially during these tough times we live. One of the better coaches in the country. You saw the two wins he has against Kansas. Those both came in 2018 when Oklahoma State swept KU. That's the only time Bill Self has been swept by a Big 12 opponent in a season series. Garrett on the drive. That's blocked Moncrief and Anderson diving. Saved for Kansas by Christian Brown. Five to shoot. That's a three from Garrett. It's off the front rim. Well, short, batted around. And Kansas gets another chance as it bounced around to Abaji. Got to close out the defensive possession. And Moncrief lost track as McCormick was able to get away and get the easy lay in Wilson. Garrett is KU's best defender. He's on Cunningham. A little bit of the feet getting tangling up. Ball gets lost. Brown has it tied up. Possession arrow is going to give it to Oklahoma State when we come back. What well, a big fella. McCormick as well. And coaches can use it for themselves or against themselves. So I just think it's in the DNA for Kansas to struggle anytime they go to Oklahoma State. Kansas has won the last two years in Stillwater, but prior to that, dropped four out of five at Gallagher Iva Arena. Stripped by Garrett as the shot clock was winding down. It's going to be Kansas ball. Well, not the kind of execution or lack of execution you want coming out of a timeout, especially when you've got a Cade Cunningham and you would think. You can just about get anything you want in terms of all your offensive possession. There's Kansas's second turnover. Bryce Williams creates that driving, tried to reverse it, and he's fouled. Well, in, in talking yesterday to Coach Boynton, I asked him who else has to be good after Kate and Likely. Those are as they go, those two go, but. He said without hesitation, Bryce Williams and Randall Walker. And so he's got to be excited about the way that Williams has injected himself into this game early, particularly on the defensive end. Let's take a look at the Kansas upcoming schedule this Saturday here on Big 12 now at ESPN Plus. They take on Iowa State. Then they host TCU on the 26th. And then the Sunflower Showdown against K State February 2nd. All on Big 12 now at ESPN Plus. You haven't got it? Sign up, ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 now. So the free throw makes it a one-point game. You see, you would have rarely seen this action last year with Agbaji bringing the ball up and then moving himself into the corner. He was more of a receiver. McCormick has been doing a lot more of that, Lance, scoring down low for Kansas. Well, a little bit of light dream shake, if you will, his own version of it. This young man is really good, as good as any in the conference in the block. A wide open Cunningham drains the three and ties it at 14. Not a very good three-point shooting team, but if you're going to find anyone, you better find Cade. He shoots about 37% from that range. Abaji couldn't finish at the rim. A chance for the Cowboys to take the lead. And that's a quick three on the way and off too long for Bryce Williams. Wilson gives it up. And Brown is bumped and fouled by Bryce Williams, who picks up his first. Well, right now, this young man, look at the little hesitation 
on the turnaround. And then, of course, right in rhythm, Kate. This guy is such a natural basketball player, Kate Cunningham, that is. And by that, I mean he just takes what's given to him. I think he's best in that situation. There have been times when they've almost overgone to him. Kansas such trying to lob. Plays natural. Sorry, Mark. Rondell Walker in the game here, Lance. Now it's been a spark off the bench. They tried to lob to a Baji and. And right over the top. Try to go to Mike Baji. He's probably or arguably the best athlete. By any measure of any t on, on either team tonight. Two way He's player. He can defend. Strong player. Knockdown shots. It's a couple of free throws. He has eight points. He's already hit two threes tonight. I mentioned that, Lance, because when he hits three or more threes in a game for Kansas, the Jayhawks have not lost. They're 15 and 0 when he hits three or more threes in a game. Well, and he'll get those looks tonight simply because of the big, big fella, McCormick, who's going out. Well, after Oklahoma State's second turnover of the game, Kansas has brought in a light foot for McCormick. And there's inside the lane, Wilson hits the little 10 footer. Well, that's a big basket by Wilson, given that he's struggled a little bit against Oklahoma in terms of getting into the game. So getting baskets early for him and getting rhythm is important for Kansas. That's a two point shot for Cunningham. Well, he had three shots on Saturday at K State. He already has three shots tonight. Kansas, their third turnover. Cunningham again, open and has another three, and Oklahoma State takes the lead. Credit himself, the throw ahead forced the defense to shift, likely doing a great job getting it right back to him. Cade in a nice rhythm from beyond the arc. Eight points, a couple of threes for Cunningham. Garrett right trying now. to go to work, help defense from Cunningham, double team. Garrett threw it up off the rim. Walker runs it out. Nice pass. Likely trying to lay it up. Abaji blocked it, but a foul on Kansas. K doing what he does. A little bit of cross. I think a lot of Cowboy fans were thinking, hey, what, what's wrong with Cade on Saturday when he only took three shots? He wasn't ill or he wasn't hurt. He just let the game uh, come to him. Set up some teammates, and uh, we talked with Mike Boynton, and he said, we guarantee you, he's going to take more than three shots tonight, and he's already exceeded that, three or four with a couple of threes. But yeah, likely yeah, at the Mark, line. You know, Mark, I, I heard, and I, I have to credit Shaka Smart for saying this to me. He had a great term the other day. He talked about basketball character, and that's what Kay Cunningham has. He plays the right way and takes what's given to him, and he's doing just that tonight on a huge stage against a very good Kansas ball team, ball club. And you mentioned something a short time ago that maybe Oklahoma State was playing a little faster than Kansas wanted to. Fast break points right now, 10-2 to 2 in favor of the Cowboys. So I yeah, think that plays to your point. Yeah, it does, and I think because Kansas wants to get that ball in, and I it play, of course, through Agbaji, but as much, if not more, through the big fellas, Lightfoot and McCormick. So Tristan Aderuna now in the game for Kansas. He's played well the last couple for KU. That shot well off the left side for Marcus Garrett. Cunningham spinning, shooting, but that's blocked. Out of bounds by Mitch Lightfoot. Uh, Kate doing a great job of breaking down the defense off the dribble. I mean, he's a load at that size. What'll be interesting, Mark, is to see if Kansas makes any adjustments, whether that's trapping him to get the ball out of his hands. Denying, denying him. I mean, and Coach Self him. talked about it. You've got to throw different looks at this man, young man, because he basically can do it all. And then how about the zone 
here early by OSU. That too has stymied the Kansas defense here early. Candace has checked in freshman Tyon Grant Foster. I should say junior transfer, first year player for Kansas. Grant Foster. Here is Grant Foster spinning, stumbling, and traveled. Grant Foster beat me to the punch. The others for Kansas. Foster is an example. Grant Foster, they've got to be solid. You guys are not going to play a ton of minutes. You come off the bench, you've got to be extremely solid until Coach Self can get his starters back on the floor. That goes for Bryce Thompson, amongst others who come off the bench for Kansas. And Coach Self told us there's a chance Bryce Thompson could play tonight. We haven't seen it so far. And right now, Oklahoma State is on a 9 0 run. A lot of that sparked by Kate Cunningham, who has a dozen points. Timeout, Kansas. See the numbers for Cunningham in Gallagher Iba Arena and on the road, shooting better in his home court. It's a 10 0 run for Oklahoma State. And Cunningham has scored 12 of. Oklahoma State's last 13 points. Cut to the basket. Obachi can't finish it. Here's a drive. Cunningham throws it back. They try to trap Cunningham, and that pass for likely is intercepted. And Christian Brown takes it the other way, slams it for Kansas. Great defense. Let's see if that changes the momentum the other way. Both guys, I felt, were at fault on that turnover. Cade and Likely. Likely's got to come to the ball and meet it. That was the first shot for Brown tonight for Kansas. And has that one shot over by Rondell Walker. Seven-point lead, Cowboys. Well, Walker's showing exactly why Coach Boynton really went after him. And recruiting. Oh, nice cut to the basket. McCormick finds Christian Brown, who's now scored back to back hoops for Kansas. Yeah, Kansas is so unselfish as a ball club. Cade has got to step in and not allow that cut right in front of him. It's interesting to watch the switching here tonight. Cunningham. Misses over Brown that time. The switching defensively. So far, Kansas, when they have switched to the five, they have tried to trap Cade Cunningham. You know, with the guards for Kansas, though, all three of them can guard on the perimeter. Well, McCormick, he has eight points. He's hit three shots and already has four rebounds as well in his nine minutes. I think this is the best stretch I've seen McCormick have since he's been at Kansas these last three ball games. Well, Moncrief, they forgot about him. He couldn't complete the flush. Well, on this shot here, look how far he is off the block. It's ISO situation, no double coming to help. It's a nice shot there. McCormick got too far away from his man, and no one came to help the big fella as he stepped out on the screen. You've got to help on a, the helper. That foul was on a Baji Lance. That's his second. So it comes with eight and a half minutes to go in the half. So we get to see Juan Harris check in for the first time for Kansas. And I believe we see Bryce Thompson. Check in as well. He missed the last three games after taking a hard fall in practice prior to the Kansas game. We'll see. Well, this is a pivotal moment. This is a pivotal moment for the game. Harris has got to be solid and protect the ball, get it in the right place. Look for Kansas to go through the big fella. The Thompson is in the game for Kansas. Oklahoma State up five, and they add to that. Anderson knocking down a three, and Oklahoma State has opened up an eight-point lead. <laughs> but other guys who don't typically knock down threes at this kind of clip because they are confident, and they're raining threes from well beyond the arc. 
So Cunningham on the bench now for Oklahoma State. He has a dozen points. He's hit three threes in 11 minutes of action. Here's McCormick on Moncrief. Spence shoots with the right hand and scores. And McCormick. He has 10 first half points. Well, it's a bucket. You throw it into him right now. Does Oklahoma State change that up and try to double? That's Bryce Thompson who commits the foul on Anderson. Tulsa native Bryce Thompson. Again, we mentioned he'd missed the last three games with a back injury. Out of Booker T. Washington High School in Tulsa. Yeah, Thompson is a freshman. Harris, a freshman. Cage, a freshman too, but a little bit of a different elk than those guys. So these freshmen, this is a big moment where they've got to hold down the fort. So you can get those upperclassmen back on the floor. And last foul was the sixth against the Jayhawks, so one away from putting the pokes into the bonus. Eichley sets it back up. Shot clock winding down. Moncrief turns to shoot, and there was McCormick to get the big right hand on it. Garrett's pass out of reach of McCormick. Turnover number six in the first half for Bill Self squad. Yeah, and Coach Self talked about his team not being, he didn't think anecdotally a very good shot blocking team, even though they lead the conference in it. I think they are a good shot blocking team. They really challenge people at the rim. But you're definitely not the same shot blocking team without Yudoka as a bookie. On your well, no. Well, <laughs> no, but it's still a mentality and, and an ideology, but <laughs> no, Doke is a, takes things to a whole different level. McCormick short, that one, he got pushed out just a little bit further. On the fast break once again, that's 16 fast break points down for Oklahoma State. Yeah, very unexcusable by Kansas. They had the floor balance. He's a dry. Thompson floated to, off the rim. Rebound Moncrief. Cunningham. Back in the game. Finds Bryce Williams in the corner. They share the ball so much, which is what's allowing them to get the ball up so quickly. They're throwing ahead and finding open people. Kansas is going to have to figure out how to stop this momentum with the fast break. McCormick, offensive rebound and put back for Kansas. They needed that as they'd fallen by, behind by double digits for the first time prior to that hoop. And a dozen points for McCormick. Back to a nine point game and all along to the rim, the lay in for Matthew Alexander Moncrief. Well, that was created by Likely, who doesn't play like a typical guard. You can post him almost like a big, and they're exceptional at passing out of double teams. Three assists for Likely. They repost. And McCormick, the baseline jumper off the mark. Cunningham, and get past Garrett. And Marcus. Picks up the foul, his first. Well, look at these guys run downhill and find their teammates. This is a huge problem right now for Kansas. And Mark, it's as much about the aggression that Oklahoma State is showing. There's no fear in terms of the way that they're playing. And they're, that was spark. Well, this young man, Cade, I think early with him making shots and sharing the ball. Right now, Oklahoma State is as confident as I've seen them all year long. The foul on Garrett, 17 foul against Kansas, so it's a one and one. Cade Cunningham with five minutes exactly to go first half, and Oklahoma State seven of ten in three-point shooting with an 11-point lead. This is what's ahead for Oklahoma State. Women's college basketball 
against the Cyclones Wednesday at 7.30 on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. You have the Cowboy Cowgirl Roundup on Thursday, and then Iowa State, Oklahoma State, February 16th, all on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. A pair of free throws for Kate Cunningham. Gives him 14 first-half points. Oklahoma State still in that zone. 14 footer off to the right from Wilson. Kansas playing Abaji with two fouls. Kayla Boone feeding likely. Rainbow goes right over the rim. Harris for Brown. Good Kansas ball movement. Wilson threes short. McCormick right in his hands. Can't finish. A third opportunity with Wilson falling to the court. Finally grabbed by the Cowboys. Williams bumps into Brown. That's an offensive foul on OSU's Bryce Williams. Over two on Bryce Williams. Yeah, and that foul. Bryce Williams, the second leading scorer. Behind Cunningham for Oklahoma State. Bryce Williams to the bench with two fouls, ten points, though. So. Going all the way by McCormick to the other side of the court to Brown to keep this possession alive for KU. McCormick, double, triple team as more help came over from Boone. We're going to get a foul on OSU. But Oklahoma State right now rolling on their home floor of 41-28. Early on, they were playing him pretty straight, as Coach Self talked about. Contrarily, the zone has given Kansas a lot of problems, with the exception of McCormick and what he's done. Well, Kansas had missed seven of their last eight from the field before that Garrett make. They've been playing Abaji with two fouls, needing some offense. Loose ball almost run down by Abaji. Yeah, that was well executed. The after timeout out of bounds. They love to run Garrett around the big fella McCormick and get him going downhill. And Garrett's as good as any at doing that with the big man. It's the second bucket of the game for Garrett. Jalen Wilson, just two points so far tonight for KU. In the lane, ball. Bandied around and the shot clock expires on Oklahoma State. As well as Cade has played a couple of times, I felt like he and or likely gave it up a little too late in the shot clock. You want those guys to go ahead and make the play, especially with their point guard skills and or ability to put it on the floor. There's a catch and shoot three, Jalen Wilson. Here's the drive. Wow, Avery Anderson with a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Well, we talk about how aggressive they are, Wilson with the miss three. And you see the floor balance, but it doesn't matter. The play is started as soon as K gets that rebound. I mean, it's quite impressive what this young man can do and because he's at the back of that zone he's getting a lot of rebounds Cade is and that just starts the offense Garrett picked up his second foul for Kansas so KU with the Baji and Garrett each with two fouls and two and a half minutes to go in after the one your point about the fast break points, though, and the speed at which Oklahoma State is playing in transition, 23 to 4 fast break points favoring OSU. And here's a steal. Driving in Anderson. Yeah, and, and big part of it is Anderson's the recipient of this, but it's these two guards that you have, Mark, in the back of the zone. You see on the far side, you've got Kate on one side and likely on the other. They get the rebound, you're in your offense straight away. They're rolling right now. And so they've got Kansas on their heels because of the zone defense. Offensive foul on Kate Cunningham. 
That's a guard and looks and throws ahead. And they're out and running. I mean, and small offensive ball. foul on Cunningham, his first, by the way, Lance. Yeah, and small balls working in Oklahoma State's favor, I think, be, as much because of these two young men likely in Cade on the defensive end as much as the offense. And Kansas down by 16. Bryce Thompson. Yeah, they're all but negating Lightfoot from getting involved with how many people they have around him. And a quick pass from Wilson to Lightfoot and a three point opportunity for Mitch Lightfoot. That was good patience by Kansas. He made them pay for not stepping in. You've got to step in and try to deny the bigs. I think Kansas's offense gets a little out of kilter when you can't run it through their bigs because they're such an important part of the balance for this Kansas offense. Lockreef, by the way, two fouls now for OSU. Now Bryce Williams, Walker, and Moncrief all with two fouls for Oklahoma State. Kansas has Abaji and Garrett with two fouls. But this this night here for Oklahoma State is really about their stars, and it speaks to Coach Boynton's point about saying that Cade would get a lot more than three shots tonight, unlike the Kansas State game. Oklahoma State had made their last five threes in a row until that miss. It's tied up by Thompson and Boone. Possession arrow to Kansas this time. Well, Mike Boyd's team is two and three in conference play. Three losses, but by a total of seven points, Lance. They, they lost to TCU by one. They lost to Texas by three. They had a 19-point lead on West Virginia last week. Lost that game by three. And this is a team that's uh, a few shots, uh, a few rebounds away from maybe being unbeaten in conference. And they're showing how good a team they are here tonight. And great defense again from Anderson forces another Kansas turnover. Yeah, to your point, that record is not representative of how good this team is. And Kansas, of course, because of their jerseys, Mark, have a target on their back. And then Oklahoma State, because of this young man here, Kate Cunningham, they too have a target on their back. Because everybody wants to show how good a player they are when this guy's on the floor, Kate Cunningham. Go. Cunningham able to retrieve it. So we're inside the final minute. Likely spinning Boone offensive fouls. He crashed into Lightfoot. That's on Caleb Boone. Yeah, and Caleb has had difficulty sustaining his success this year. They've wanted more from him and they've had some moments. But here there's no need to run Lightfoot over there. Just take your time and shoot your little jump hook there, big fella. About a five second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Candace can try to eat as much of this time as they can. Yeah, and they're out of the and zone. And switch it up and put it, turn it into ball pressure. I tell you what, Anderson was trying to give the freshman Bryce Thompson all he can handle. Well, you took the words out of my mouth, Mark. That's a freshman. You want to make freshmen prove their value. In this environment, Thompson hits the front end. A reminder: Big 12 now on ESPN Plus this week. You got Iowa State at Kansas on Saturday. That's at one Central, two Eastern. Texas takes on Iowa State on the 20th, and Texas Tech TCU January 20th. If you haven't subscribed so far? Make sure you do by signing up at ESPNPlus.com. Three and double figures in scoring in this half for OSU. Anderson and Williams. Bryce Williams have 10 and Cunningham with 14. They come out in the zone. That's an example of moving K around. Looking to get the final shot of the half. Cunningham with three shorts. And a 
It's an 11 point lead for OSU in a big first half for Kate Cunningham. 14 points, hit three threes, five rebounds, three assists, and under control that Oklahoma State is coming at them with. They've got their best defender in Garrettson, as you see, pressuring Oklahoma State's best player in Kate Cunningham. Let's see where this goes here in the second half, Mark. Cunningham trying to feed Moncrief. A quick foul on Kansas. McCormick his first. Well, you talk about well, comparisons, Mark, and if you compare this to a boxing match, I thought that Oklahoma State was more of the aggressor. And let's see if Kansas adjusts to that here in this first half. Or second half, I'm sorry. Cunningham picks up where he left off, nailing his first shot. He has 16 points. To your point, though, Lance, uh, being more the aggressor, the most fast break points Kansas has allowed in a game this year is 28 to Gonzaga. They gave up 24 in the first half to Oklahoma State. But Abaji picks up his third three of the game to make it a 10-point contest. Well, that's one of the ways to stop that break that Oklahoma State has is execute on the offensive end. They've got to take it out of bounds, which is a different type of possession than the ones we've seen in the first half for Oklahoma State. Likely on Wilson driving to the rim. McCormick got a hand on that, but likely has it again. That's a three. Bryce Williams good in the three ball. They hit 7-12 in the first half and hit their first of half number two as well. I've been calling Bryce other because that's what I asked Coach Boynton. Who else had to be good? And Bryce has shown up huge all throughout this game, knocking down shots. On the run again, and there is Cunningham to Anderson now. And once again, quickly up the floor, and Anderson has 12 points. Well, the only thing that Oklahoma State's not running on is makes. Misses and turnovers, they're running right back down Kansas's throat. Brown misses the three ball, and they're in it right away. And they're throwing ahead as well as any college team I've seen in recent memory, Mark. Those throw aheads, they don't necessarily go in the stat sheet because the guy receiving them dribbles. But those are huge, and they've made a big difference in Oklahoma State's offensive execution. McCormick. Dribbles out of the double team, and that rolls off the rim. And then a Kansas foul. Mark, you might remember in the first half, we saw, I think it was Anderson who got a similar play, and it was a charge. And I mentioned that you didn't want to take away that aggression, and that's an example in the backcourt where Likely gets the ball, and he's running right at you. And it ended up working in Oklahoma State's favor in that possession because they got the foul. Stay aggressive if you're Oklahoma State. Kansas foul was on Jalen Wilson. He has two joining Abaji and Garrett with two fouls. Moncrief did pick up his third for Oklahoma State. And the Cowboys turn it over. Well, Kansas has given Oklahoma State a taste of their own medicine with some zone defense. That's 14 for McCormick. A couple of games ago against Texas, he was 0-4 from the field, had eight points all from the line. Then a week ago tonight, had a season-high 20 at TCU, added 17 against Oklahoma last Saturday at Allen Fieldhouse. And he's Kansas' leading scorer with 14 tonight. Long rebound. Gathered by Walker. On the dribble underneath, Anderson to Walker. Brown got a hand on it. Second chance, no for Walker. Oh, Walker's got to finish that. That was an easy putback. Three. Off the left side from Abaji. Walker runs it out. And is able to get back that time. Wilson. And it bounced off him. It went to Bryce Williams, who gathered it, but he was standing on the baseline out of bounds. Each team now with nine turnovers. McCormick has likely on him. Cunningham comes over to help. And McCormick 
without him tonight, Kansas would be lost, Lance. You know, it's how much, how many ways can you get it to McCormick? That was a little false action out on the perimeter, all designed to get the ball to McCormick. And Anderson drives right at McCormick, who will earn his second foul. Excellent play by Anderson. He had a straight line drive. McCormick was on the other side of the lane. He's got to cheat a little more so he can get there. He being McCormick, he can get there early in front of the driver. Candace, right back on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus this Saturday. They host Iowa State at Allen Fieldhouse at 1 Central, 2 Eastern. TCU at Kansas on the 26th of January, and then the Sunflower Showdown at Allen Fieldhouse against K-State February 2nd, all on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. Oh, 13-point lead again. Oklahoma State's a little bit of pressure here, and then they go back into this zone. Abaji is three for five in three-point shooting. The rest of his teammates three for 12 from beyond the arc tonight. Shot clock winding down. Brown's going to have to put up a three. And they say that's going to stay with Kansas. And we've played four-plus minutes. Timeout, Oklahoma State by 13. Hi, this is Bill Self. Talking from behind the zone, pointing and telling people where to go and where to be. Look at Cade right now communicating with his coach. I think that, too, has been a big factor in Oklahoma State's success here tonight. Let me admit what I said earlier about Kansas three-point shooting is that three is put up by Abaji. It's short. He's now three of six. The rest of his teammates are a combined 0 for 8 from beyond the arc for a three for 14 for Kansas three-point shooting tonight. Oh, yeah, and you saw that ball go backwards after the rebound. And that's right rare. He will shoot two. Well, Kansas had the lead in this game until Oklahoma State went up 19-18. And since then, it's been a lead all owned by Oklahoma State. And with the exception of that early part of the game, Lance, uh, Oklahoma State has certainly been the aggressor tonight. Yeah, and they get many bonuses when they go to the line like this because this turns into that extended zone so they slow you see they well, only have one person on the free throw line or now they have two but it turns into an ex a little pressure and then that turns into a zone and kansas has had trouble executing anytime they have extended that defense and then drop back into the zone really the only consistent success they've had is when they can get it to McCormick and that hasn't been easy of late McCormick likely got underneath McCormick and has called for the foul his first by the way Jalen Wilson that last sequence for Kansas defensively picked up his third and he's the first Jayhawk to three fouls tonight yeah and likely he's listed at 6'5", 215, and I bet he's probably a little more than 215. He's such a load down low, and that's why they can get away with someone being so small. I mean, at times, he's guarding the big fella, McCormick. The double on McCormick, he shoots wide right. A lot of defensive help down low. Yeah, it won't show up in the box score, but Boone did a great job of pushing McCormick out where he's so good with his jump hook. Cunningham now three for six from three-point shooting. After that miss, the driving lay in there for Marcus Garrett. Most Kansas within a dozen. Well, and typically, Kansas is very good at exploiting non-fundamental basketball. That's what Garrett did. No one picked him up and got a easy drive at the rim. Three left side off the heel from Anderson, who's not far from a career high. He has 14 points. His career high is 17, and it's Kansas ball after the OSU miss. Well, Kansas is in that zone. I felt like Anderson settled a little bit. Most of his shots have been 
in rhythm, if you will. Hadn't really settled much all night. That played right into Kansas's hands, taking that long, long three and trying to shoot over the defense. Oklahoma State has missed their last five from the field, but Kansas really hasn't been able to take great advantage of that to trim this lead. They'll try to get it down the single digits here. That's a two. That's good for Jalen Wilson and makes it a 10 point game. And Wilson sometimes will try to do too much. I think tonight he's done a good job of picking his spots on the offensive end of the floor. The Walker jumper splash. Excellent patience by Walker there. At the three, nice little pump fake in one dribble. Been a good oh, shooting night for Oklahoma State. They're 50 percent, 51 percent from the field overall. 50 percent three-point shooting. Walker, Garrett turns it over. The drive and the stuff by Boone, Caleb Boone. Nice job by Boone getting out. The supporting cast for Oklahoma State has done a sensational job of running the floor and getting out on the wing. Three, Jalen Wilson, back rim miss. Anderson to the corner, back out likely. Boy, look at that ball, just move. These are great decisions from the right people in terms of likely and Kate. Long three from Walker's off the mark. A little bit of a heat check. Brown, the first player for Kansas other than Abaji to hit a three tonight. And if you're Oklahoma State, you have to know that Kansas is not going to go away anytime soon. A look to likely turns, shoots the 10 footer, tip Boone, a Wilson rebound for Kansas. Wilson trying to get past Kate Cunningham. Cunningham, his second personal foul. Well, the defense has really been doing a great job. And the supporting cast know what to do in that case. Asked him some questions just to learn a little bit more about him. He's a big Luka Doncic fan. Anything vegan favorite food? He's intrigued by that. It's always interesting to see what nutrition the players follow. And for Kate, it's vegan. Yeah, and the NBA tries to fuel fuel guys the right way and doesn't look like they'll have to do a whole lot of teaching Okay in terms of diet and what to put in the body for fuel 11 Kansas turnovers I think with this zone for Oklahoma State They've fallen into the trap of shooting a few too many threes well, Walker he got his career high ninth rebound after that miss and then was chasing it again after the ball got loose Rondell Walker has been all over the floor today You think this game doesn't matter the effort coach Boynton has to be impressed with obviously by his two main guys and likely in Cade Cunningham, but the Yo, other pressure. guys ball Have really stepped up in a huge Get way up. Anderson Walker, Boone, Bryce Williams have all been exceptional tonight. There's something else to get to know Kate Cunningham. You know who his roommate is on the Oklahoma State campus? It's Rondell Walker. And a rebound that time for his roommate Cunningham, his sixth. Kate pulls up from 12 and drops that in. And there it is again. If I've said it once, I've probably said it too much, Mark, but having these guys in the back of the zone when you've got Kate. And likely getting the rebound. Anytime they get the rebound, it's extremely dangerous going back the other way because they're so good with the ball in their hands. 
Garrett back to Bryce Thompson. Thompson gets in the lane and just kind of flips it up there and it's off the back of the rim. 30 fast break points tonight for Oklahoma State. That's the most by a Kansas opponent this year. Again, Gonzaga in the first game of the year for KU had 28 fast break points. Well, the only thing that Oklahoma State, I think, could have done better here is they vacated this pick and roll and the ball screens anytime they face this zone. Likely cleans up the Cunningham miss and an and one opportunity for Ice. Well, that opportunity was created by Cunningham because he broke down the defense. Mark, go into another phase of significance as it race, relates to the NBA because he's playing against a powerhouse in Kansas who has maybe not one of its best rosters, but a really good roster. And he is getting work done and proving his worth and value at the next level against a great team on a huge stage. They look good. Got shooters, guys. 16 Listen point lead. Talking. McCormick, who's playing with three fouls, leads Kansas with 16 points. 18 points make that. Well, it seems that the only remedy for this zone or consistent re remedy is McCormick. And he, too, has been as special as Cade all night long. Likely on the drive. Rebound from McCormick, who's close to a double-double after his eighth rebound. And Aruna traveled. Eight and a half minutes to go. That's what I mean about the other guys for Kansas and Aruna. That they've got to take care of the ball. He hasn't had a ton of big games. And when he and he doesn't get a ton of minutes, but when he's on the floor, he's got to impact the game not only by production, but by not making mistakes. Oklahoma See, State I, has looked dominating at times here tonight. I'm sure what their fans are thinking and even their players remember eight days ago, their last home game, they had a 19-point lead against West Virginia, lost that, and lost the game by three to the Mountaineers. Shot clock expired. That, that's been the only kind of weird thing. That's three times tonight, Lance, where they've had to get some awkward shots late in the shot clock. But it's been a great night otherwise for Mike Boynton's team. They are up 14 with under eight minutes to play. Kansas originally set that mark. They won 11 in a row back in 2001 to 2003. Last couple of years under Roy Williams. Yeah, and it's not like Coach Self didn't know he was going to be coming into, regardless of how many fans there were, a hostile environment and a difficult environment. He respects Kate Cunningham. You heard that in his presser. And his players know how good of a player and team Oklahoma State is. Anna Runa with the tip on the offside. And Kansas comes away with points with seven and a half minutes to go down a dozen. Kansas has won the last five in a row against Oklahoma State since 2018 when OSU swept the season series against Kansas. There's a travel committed by Cunningham. All right, I should say by Anderson. I mean, one of the keys for Kansas is to score so that you can get back in your zone. They put a little pressure on Kay bringing the ball up, and they drop into the zone, and Oklahoma State has, as well as they played, they've done a poor job in attacking the half-court zone Kansas is putting in front of them. Back-to-back -back trips down the floor for Ana Runa to score for Kansas. They get a 10-point game, but quickly the other way, McCormick, a block on a shot attempt by Anderson. Bryce Thompson flips it back. Abaji finds McCormick, who's in a double team, and could not hit the shot, but will shoot two. Yeah, and the last play by Anirano where he went to the basket after catching the ball in the middle of the zone, we have not seen that kind of action from Kansas most of the night. Oklahoma State's done a really nice job of keeping the ball out of the middle of the zone in the half-court offense, but we cannot forget, Mark, this is the Kansas Jayhawks. Coming up on Big 12 now at ESPN Plus. Cowgirl basketball against Iowa State on Wednesday at 6.30 Central. The Oklahoma State roundup on Thursday. And then 
back to the midside Iowa State OSU on February 16th here on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. Well, it's the first time for a single digit lead, by the way, since it was 37 28, Oklahoma State. Get a whistle and away from the ball, a Kansas foul. It's on Bryce Thompson. Kansas has gotten the deficit down to eight. They've trailed by as many as 16. They're on an 8 0 run. Well, that's a critical foul because from here, Oklahoma State goes into the bonus. A wave off the shot and a travel first. Committed by Anderson in the corner. 13th Oklahoma State turnover. And if you're the Jayhawks, Lance, you're, you're seeing a, a little bit of a crack here, a chance to whittle this lead down even more. Yeah, Mark, a little more than a crack because Oklahoma State has not figured out how to solve this zone. Well, Williams with a steal and a tomahawk jam for Bryce Williams. Oh, wow. Williams makes Kansas pay, makes the freshman pay for the poor, poor lackadaisical lob pass, if you will. Abaji drains the three for the Jayhawks, his fourth of the night. Let's see, I Down think to a seven-point game. The lack of ball screens here in this zone has been the difference. You can still run man-type action and or ball screens in a zone. You do not have to just pass around the top passively and try to create offense off the dribble. Three from the corner, Walker off the mark. Chance for Kansas to make this a two-possession game if they can find some points here. There's plenty of time, over five minutes to go in Stillwater. Defender fell down, and Garrett flips it up and scores, and Kate Cunningham not happy with the no call. Wow, what a great play by Garrett. You'd have thought he was over dribbling, but he pro took his time. And Mark, on that shot, he created a basket, but really stopped the momentum and put Kansas right back in this. Take over for Oklahoma State. Gave them a 19-18 lead. They have had the lead since, and led by as many as 16 in the first half. Caleb Boone taken away by McCormick, who has a double-double tonight. 20 points, 10 rebounds. His fourth career double-double in third this season. Not great execution after a timeout. That was a play call. McCormick on Boone, shoots, scores, and that's a season-high 22 for David McCormick. And it's a three-point game. Coach Selbs saying that he's going to go through the big fella late in ball game situations that they find themselves in now. So look for the offense to go through McCormick. Garrett. Trying to find some room on Boone drives and scores and it's a one point game. Wow, what a patient job that these Kansas Jayhawks have done in terms of taking their time and putting themselves in a position here to get a stop and possibly take a lead. And it's a travel called on Cunningham, and it's KU Ball when we come back. Well, it's been the Carrot McCormick show here late. Kansas, they boys as I've seen him have all season long, long probing, waiting, probing the defense to get exactly what he wants in terms of execution. Garrett trying to get past Anderson and scores, and Kansas 
has reclaimed the lead with just over three minutes to go. How about how he drove that ball and prevented himself from charging and got the little slither layup without fouling. Great out of bounds possession in the right man's hands. Cunningham, 15 footer, bounces off. Thompson for Kansas, looking around. Where's he going to go with it? Back to Garrett. And Bryce Thompson again only needs to be solid. Not turn the ball over. Take what the defense gives you and get the ball in Garrett's hands. Crossover. Garrett tried to find McCormick, who crashed into likely loose ball. A scrum on the floor. And possession arrow keeps it with Kansas. How about Thompson? It won't show up in the stat sheet, but look at the effort. Just one on the shot clock to your point there, Lance. Yeah, and if you're Oklahoma State, you do not want to foul here. Forced him to make a miracle shot. And the shot clock expires, by the way. The defense for, Can uh, for Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State gets it back down one with 2.11 to go. Don't sell talking with lead official Gary Maxwell. There's still a couple minutes left here, Lance, but you just get the feeling. Crucial possession here for Oklahoma State who missed their last four from the field. Yeah, they just haven't been able to solve the defense, which has now been switched in back into a man. You got, you got Garrett on Cunningham. And you got McCormick out trying to guard a guard and look at the job he does. This is a great possession there defensively by Kansas because Oklahoma State has had a mismatch that they couldn't exploit. McCormick sets the screen. Wilson looking for McCormick. Pushed out by Cunningham. Faces up, gets in the lane. 12 footer, good. Timeout. Kansas up three, 24 points from David McCormick. Well, Mark, this you to see, and you could hear this in Coach Self's presser and in talking to him, he loves McCormick and thinks all roads lead through him if Kansas is going to be successful. 21 to 2 Kansas run, likely. It's it back. Shoots a three, good! He doesn't shoot many of those, but he hits a massively big one there for the Cowboys to tie the game at 70 with just a tick under a minute to go. Well, he comes in the game shooting 45%. We're seeing a shot from the perimeter because it's almost a guaranteed bucket every time the ball goes into McCormick. He'll, he'll likely come up and set this screen and then dive. Cunningham saves it. Up ahead, Walker. And one. Well, there's that defensive IQ that turns into offense. How about the fact, Mark, that there was not one dribble, block, save, throw ahead, let it bounce for me, and finish. That, Mark, was textbook in terms of a fast break. There wasn't one dribble started by that young man right there. Mr. Cunningham. 6 one for OSU. They're up three. Now it's Kansas under the gun. Abaji. Three. Garrett. Loose ball. Oklahoma State wrapping it up. Wants a timeout and gets the timeout. With 17.8 seconds remaining, Anderson able to get the T.O. on his backside. You... You think these young men are pets not?
that experience at the very least is not in the back of some of their heads and knowing they let some slip away. So I expect to see exceptional execution as the, you see the foul here. Kansas has so got to go get a one on one coming up here, Lance, as Bryce Williams, 77 percent free throw shooter on the year coming in is hit a perfect four of four from the line tonight. And he has a career high. He's tied a career high with 15 points. Well, and you always want your stars to be stars, Mark, which is what's happened tonight. Cunningham establishing that he's arguably the perennial number one player in the nation. And, of course, McCormick. But the he other missed, guys have to step up. Missed the front end. Still a one-possession game. And they foul Abaji with 12 point seconds left. Oklahoma State has fouls to give still. Yeah, and I expect the another, 15 foul. You know, I expect another foul because the next one won't put him on the line as well. And then if the shot does get late, you have to ask do you foul before they take the shot, get the shot off. You don't want to give them three. Abaji short with the three puts up another that's a miss five seconds left out of bounds staying with Kansas Two yeah, chances for Abaji. The last one was a bit off balance And Mark Brown and Wilson also on the floor for KU Intercepted by Bryce Williams and Oklahoma State with a little showtime at the end. Winning over Kansas 75-70. What a great way.